<sighs> Clean this room up is so life draining. Wait, that looks familiar. My, my old journal. Wow, I haven't written this thing for one or two years. And somehow it's still in pretty good condition, but it's covered in crap. <sighs> hey, I remember this. The perfect summer. Holly and I even held hands. <sighs> good times. <sighs> I just, I just wish things were different. <coughs> huh? <coughs> watch, watch, watch where you're throwing all your dust dip shit. <coughs> it's not fun breathing it in. Uh, okay, sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention. I just, I just can't believe you're actually leaving home. Hey, don't worry, little bro. I'll be fine in college. Besides, you'll be the one who gets my room. You mean the basement? With no ventilation, mold covered basement? It's an actual downgrade compared to what I had before. Hey, you take that back. Me and the basement had great memories. Well, anyway, after I'm gone, you have to be the man of house since dad is a man baby, and Manny's still way too young. And while you're lazing around, I'll be rocking the dorms with my band. Wait, band? I. I thought you quit being a drummer to go to college. Well. At least that's what you told mom and dad. Well, I, uh, uh... Well, uh... Yes, that's what I meant. I, I, I wasn't saying it right, sorry. <sighs> okay, whatever. <laughs> and you shouldn't worry about me anyways. I, I quit drumming and dad is dad, I promised. But in my opinion, what you should be worrying about is how you and that lumpy friend will make it to high school alive. <laughs> lumpy? What does that even? Speaking of which... Ah, uh, finally, you're back, Rally. Hey, Greg! Hey, how was the trip to... Way? Uh... Uh, Greg, what's, what's wrong? Is there somebody behind me? Uh, Rally? What's that thing in the back of your head? Oh, sweet Greg, I'm glad you finally noticed. This is what's called a mullet. The ladies dig it. Yeah, it's true. The girls will be digging their graves after they see you. Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Do, do the girls really want to dig themselves into the ground because of me? I, I didn't know. Nope. At least, I think nobody's buried themselves because of you. Just, just take me inside, Greg. <sighs> Whatever. At least I hope your Jamaican trip all summer was fun. Come on in. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Heffley. Uh... Oh my god, Rally, you're back! Wait a minute. You left? Huh, who knew? So tell me, did you enjoy Jamaica? Yeah, it was killer. First we went to this restaurant for amazing food. And then we went to the coolest beach with a bag and everything. And that's how we came back to home. And, best part is, no one died. Uh, well, yeah, I told you it was weird. Uh, that's great, Rowley. Okay, now we got the boring stuff out of the way. So, our man, how is it with the ladies? You got a girlfriend yet? Uh, well, not really. At least, not yet, anyways. Oh, don't worry, Rowley, that's fine. Wait, it is Mr. Hifley? Yeah! You just have to wait until they turn into women. Right, Greg? 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 Everything was perfect. It all collapsed so fast. Greg! Huh? Wait, Dad, did you just call Rowley Art Man? Oh yeah, anyways, Rowley, can you help Greg move his stuff from his room to the attic? Uh, what? Okay, so basically Greg is moving to the attic and Roderick is going to college, so we can turn Greg's room into a guest room for when our family stays over. Also, any friend of my son is a son of mine, which also means unpaid menial labor. Uh, I, uh, unpaid menial labor? <laughs> I, I just remembered that my parents called me to dinner early. I, I gotta go now, sorry. Dude, it's 2 p.m. What are you even talking about? 
Okay, bye, Greg. Sorry I couldn't help you out. <laughs> well, that was pretty savage. You have to give it to him. The way you always talk about him, Greg, makes it sound like he doesn't have a backbone. <sighs> Whatever. I'll just do it myself. Cool. Just let us know when you're done. <sighs> this room's gonna take forever to clean. I don't wanna do this. Huh? Greg, honey, could you get that? I'm busy right now. <laughs> it's probably Rally. <laughs> I knew he'd come back. He's not the kind of person to bail when a job needs to get done. <laughs> you almost had me there, Rally. You actually got me fooled for a second. <laughs> but I always knew you'd come back around. <sighs> oh, hey, Hefley. You want to see my scab? It's pink. <laughs> you messed up again. Why can't I just talk to people normally? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> well, back to work. Wait a minute. Also, any friend of my son is a son of mine, which also means unpaid menial labor. Maybe... Maybe bringing Fregly into my house isn't such a bad idea after all. I mean, he can do all the work for me. Man, I wish I couldn't be so weird for people. Nobody's even willing to give me a chance. Oh well. I guess I'll just head back home. Hey, Fregly! Huh? <sighs> hey, hey, dude, you, you, you wanna, wanna come in by my house? Wait, you serious? You're not gonna slam the door in my face when I try to get in? <coughs> no, don't worry, I won't slam the door on you. Just come right in, I promise. <laughs> wow, I don't know how to thank you. Wow, oh man, I'm so excited. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Greg? <sighs> man, this is gonna be a long day. Okay, Fregly, it's a pretty simple task. All you need to do is move Roderick's boxes into his van outside. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <sighs> Whatever, just get the job done. <laughs> What's in this crap? <laughs> it, looks, it looks heavier than it looks. <laughs> Craig, could you help me carry this box? Hmm, you look like you have it covered. See you later. Oh, and tell me when you're done. <sighs> Classic Roderick. Sitting back and watching TV instead of helping us pack his stuff. Ugh, there's no good channels on anymore. Of course mom and dad didn't pay for cable. Roderick. Huh? What do you want? So, uh, I've been meaning to ask, are any of your bandmates also going to college? Pfft, yeah, I guess, but we're done with the band anyways, remember? You know, Roderick, I still don't get why you quit being a drummer. If you enjoy drumming, then you shouldn't stop doing it. It's just so stupid. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I still think... Greg, 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 I'm done, I'm done! <sighs> I, I did a good job, Greg. Wow, this is actually not bad, Fregly. I mean, you took longer than I expected, but hey, it's good enough. Okay, let's take a lunch break. I mean, we deserve it after all we clean the attic together. Man, your mom makes good sandwiches. <sniffs> Thanks. She makes these after we do free meal labor. It almost makes it worth it. Almost. So. No! Wadrick, stop it! I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. You, uh, excited to go to high school, Fregly? <sighs> to be honest, Greg. Not really. Huh? Oh, why? You're like one of the only people here who seem to enjoy school. I mean, it's not like anyone's missing me right now. I'm just some weird kid. Well, I'm pretty sure Rally missed you. I think. You know, maybe you could try to be more normal. No offense, Fregly, but maybe it would make high school easier for you. <sighs> you know, Greg... I tried to be normal in middle school, but still, no one accepted me since they already knew my habits. 
Hey, it's Fregly, the kid who eats dirt. Hey, it's Fregly with the big freckle. Hey, it's Fregly who can shoot food out of his belly button. So, eventually I just went back to my old ways since it's more comfortable. You know what, Fregly? Compared to all the other morons in middle school, you weren't half bad. Oh, wow, thanks, Greg. You know, that, mean, that, that really means a lot to me. I, I don't know why, but you've been really nice today. I, I don't deserve this. Hey, Bobby's weird friend, you wanna play with us? Oh yeah, <laughs> we should do a tickle fight. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. No you aren't, no you aren't. Huh, perhaps I've judged Frigley too harshly before. Sure, he's weird, but he doesn't mean any harm. Roderick, honey, everything's packed, you can leave now. Huh, 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 uh, I was definitely not asleep. Uh, coming. Uh, thanks, Mom, for helping pack my stuff. Ah, it's no problem, Roderick. Hey, what's going on, Greg? Oh, Roderick's going to college. Wait, you literally moved all the stuff early. How come you can't remember? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember now. I was just, you know, in the vibe. Oh, well, I guess it's time to say goodbye, Roderick. For a long time. Take one long final look at this, guys. You won't be seeing this for a long time, so you should probably take a photo as well. Well, Roderick, uh, you should also probably wipe that. Obviously. I'm not an idiot, Greg. Look, I even made a plan for it. Impressive, right, Greg? <laughs> You're probably a bit jealous right now, aren't you? <laughs> okay, whatever you say, Roderick. <sighs> well, I guess it's bye for now, I guess. Bye, Greg. Bye, Roderick. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I might actually miss you. Bye, Mom, Dad, and Manny. And, uh, Guy. Bye, Roderick, we'll miss you. Bye, Roderick. Make sure to man up while in college. Bye, Greg's brother. <clears throat> it's a manual, not Manny, you ploopy. Bye, guys. I'll miss sleeping in the basement all day and night, but I have to move forward. Huh? Huh? Oh, wait, I'm in bed? Damn, I almost forgot. Let's see if I actually did it today. Please tell me I wrote today's entries. I don't really feel like doing it right now. Well, time to find out. <sighs> and of course, it's empty. I guess I'm not getting eight hours sleep. Oh well, let's get this over with. And a few more finishing touches, and there, I'm finally done. Everything that happened today. Hmm, to be honest, yesterday actually wasn't so bad. It's actually kind of cool how Fregly isn't as crazy as I thought he was. Well, first day of high school tomorrow. <sighs> Hopefully things are different from middle school. <laughs> huh? 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 Seriously, man, I barely got any sleep now. <sighs> I should have just done that thing tomorrow. Hmm, where is that boy? Prepared breakfast just for him as well. Uh, Mum, where's Bobby? I don't know, Manny. I'm going to go check on him now. Going, Mom. I'm right here. Don't worry. So, Mom, I've been meaning to ask, where's going to be my new bus stop for school? <laughs> oh dear, you don't have the bus anymore. What? Oh, what? Then, then how would I get to school without a bus? Well, there is. No, don't tell me. And of course, she doesn't bother telling me this yesterday. Bye, honey. Hope you have a good first day of high school. Also, stay out of trouble. <sighs> Just great. Hey, hey, Greg. Hey, Rally, that's you? You don't look so good. You okay? Greg, I'm... I'm... 
<laughs> I'm sorry I flaked out on you yesterday. I should have helped you unpack the stuff. I'm a selfish friend. Um, there, there, bro. Uh, but look, if it makes you feel any better, I would do the same thing to you. Uh, I guess it makes me feel better. So, are you excited for biking again? Rowley, you know the bus was much better, right? I mean, we wouldn't be soaking in rain right now and going for a 10-mile ride just to get to school. Come on, Greg, lighten up. Remember all our good times on our bikes? No, Rally, I can't seem to recall any quote-unquote good times we had to get on these bikes. <sighs> Man, this school is a lot further than, the, than our last school. <sighs> Tell me about it. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're finally here. Whoa. Whoa! We should probably go in, Rowley. Come on, Greg, let me just take this in a little longer, please. That's not my problem, Rowley. The problem is we had to be in school like 15 minutes ago. What? <sighs> For safe high school, I'm almost late to my first class. Um, Greg Hefley? Here. Uh, Rowley Jefferson? Here. Uh, Fregley Rusal? Uh, my name is Sid. Here. Uh, Rog Upta? <sighs> it's Chirag Gupta, and I'm here. Wow, Chirag's here. Almost didn't see him. Uh, Albert Sandy? Here. Uh, Bryce Anderson? Here. Okay, well, there's a lot of kids I remember from middle school. And some new guys as well. Maybe I won't be surrounded by complete morons this year. I mean, I don't have any beef for anyone in this class. Patty Farrell? <laughs> Patty Farrell? Here. Finally, the bell rang. I'm starving. Greg Halfley! Just so you know, just because we're now in high school doesn't change anything. I can still beat you in a fight, Chesnips. Calm down, Patty. That wrestling club fiasco was just a one-time thing. Well, now I'm part of the student council, so if you step one foot, even one foot out of line... You're done. Uh, okay then. Understood. Thanks for the warning. As if high school life could get any harder... Now I have Patty watching my every move. Just perfect. Well, it looks like you have to try and get on her good side. That's the issue, Shirag. I don't think Patty has a good side. Anyway, let's go to lunch. I'm starving. Thanks, Patty. Stupid interruption. I had to wait in this line for 10 minutes. Wow, guys. Lunch is so much more different from middle school. Yeah, it's crazy. They don't even have normal lunch ladies. Get this. The students volunteered to have the lunch jobs. Crazy, I know. Like that girl Abigail Brown over there. Plus, we need lunch money now. Wait, did she just say l lunch money? I, I I didn't know we needed lunch money. I thought it'd be free like in middle school. Crap, I forgot to get money too. Next! Well, uh... Hey girl, let me have this lunch for free. And I'll make it worth your while. Wow. <laughs> yeah, sure. The meal's on the house. Hmm. I could probably do that as well. <laughs> hey, girl. If you let me free go, let me go freely. I'll. I'll never let you go. Hmm. Next. <sighs> Uh, Chip? Fregly, I'm not that hungry yet. Hey, Greg! Oh, hi, Ra- Huh? What? Wait, how did you get lunch if you didn't bring lunch money as well? I just did the same thing as Bryce and wooed the lunch lady. Looks like my mole is already coming in handy, Greg. Well, alright then. 
Hey guys, mind if I sit here as well? Yeah, we don't mind. Uh, you guys want some? So, do you guys have any girlfriends or something? Nah, no. What? Wait, Greg, what about that yellow-haired girl named Peyton or something? You, you mean Holly? <sighs> she wasn't even my girlfriend. Also, she switched schools without even telling us. She couldn't even send a message or a goodbye. Not even a word. After all we went through together, this is the things I get. Uh, Greg, you okay? Don't worry, Fregley, it's not your fault. He just gets uncomfortable any time we talk about the Holly Hill situation. Shut up, Raleigh. See? Told you. Hey, that's funny. I just remembered. A girl named Holly Hills went to my middle school for 8th grade. They must be the same one, I guess. W wait really Was she popular there as well? Well, not really. Okay, okay, settle down, students. Very good, very good. Today we have a new student from Plainview coming to join us. Her name is Holly Elizabeth Hills. Please be nice to her, okay? We want her to feel right at home at our school. So can you please introduce yourself, Holly? Uh, okay, miss. So, uh, uh I'm pretty good at tennis, and uh, I help tutor kids during the summer, and I, I have an older and younger sister, and, uh, uh, th that, that's about it. So, uh, <laughs> anybody want to ask me any questions about my life? Wait, <laughs> That's it? <laughs> wow, you really are boring. Wow, she's even lamer than I am. I bet the most exciting part of her day was combing her hair. <laughs> hmm. Students, this is not right. Remember to treat new classmates with kindness, not this. Okay, now I just need to find somewhere to sit. Uh, hey guys, uh, mind if I sit here? Obviously, we do mind. This is a cheerleading table, and look at your sad hoodie. You're obviously not a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, so savage. Nerd! Why is everyone so mean? Jeez, all of these lunch tables rejected me. I only have one more that I can go to. Hopefully, they can let me in. So this crash landing could actually be a UFO. No way, man. Yes way, man, I promise. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but can I sit with you guys? Hey, you're the new kid, right? <laughs> you seem nice. Yeah, sure. No. <sighs> I guess nobody really wants me here. Well, first day of school, I got insulted in front of the whole class, and... I'm sitting here in the toilet. Maybe, maybe things will get better from today. Yeah, maybe today's a fluke. Wait, someone's coming in. Oh, wow. I am so pretty. Oh, yeah, on topic. So, what do we think of this new Holly girl? Oh, please. She's like the most fakest person ever. You have to be a new level of lame to think that tutoring kids is cool. Plus, she's not even that pretty anyways. <laughs> Why is everyone here so mean? So yeah, that's what I remember from Holly Hills last year. I tried to be friends with her, but my friends told me not to. <sighs> I never realized how much big jerks they were. Wait, so she didn't have any friends for the entirety of 8th grade? Yeah, pretty much. It was actually a pretty sad sight to see. Which is why it's great she moved back after 8th grade. Uh, wait. Holly moved back? So let me get this straight. You told this whole story about Holly moving out. Just to reveal that she just recently moved back? <laughs> yeah, well you see, I usually say the more shocking information for later to have more dramatic effect. Uh, alright man. But wait, there's still one thing I can't understand. How did she even convince her parents to move back to Plainview? I don't know, to be honest. My source pretty much ends from there. Maybe she said pretty please. That always convinces my mom. 
No way, frankly, that's totally unrealistic. No sane parent would move out just because their child asked nicely. That's just stupid. So, what do you two kids want? Please, Mom and Dad, we we need to move out. I, I hate it here, and no one likes me. Yeah, and there's no good toy stores here either. I can't even find a Gwen Dennis in action figure. Pretty, Pretty please. please. Nope, sorry, girls. But your father's business is much more successful here. And it'd be foolish to move just because you're both having a tough time. Uh, actually, we may or may not have lost half our profits when we moved here. Oops. What? Uh, uh, uh. We'll think about moving back to Plainview now. Really? Thank, Thank you. you. <sighs> Whatever. It doesn't really matter what she did to get back here. But wait. If she moved back during the summer, why wouldn't she say hi to us? Well, after one long car ride, we're finally here. Crazy how this house never got sold. I thought it was pretty nice, to be honest. Alright, kids, get your bags. Me and your mother are going to be spending a whole afternoon trying to unpack everything. Wow, I haven't seen this picture in a while. Ah, I was pretty cute as a baby. Uh, Heather too, I guess. But even back then, Heather looked like she was done with everything. Mom! I'm gonna take a walk now, okay? Speaking of which... Wait, where are you walking off to, sweetie? Uh, well, just, you know, going out with some friends. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll also go take a walk. <sighs> Alright, just be careful, girls. Don't worry, Mom, we will. That's good to hear, sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna walk that way. Whatever, just don't follow me. Remember, you still owe me because you and your little friend's brother ruined my popularity in plain view. And if you do that to me again, uh, you're so dead. Uh, okay, Heather, I promise. Why does this street look so familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Is that? So, what do you think about it? Uh, think about what, Greg? Uh, I don't know. My mustache! I've been growing it since two weeks ago. Oh, your mustache. Well, it sucks. <laughs> what? Seriously? I, I thought your whole thing is to be nice and supportive. Well, I mean, you did tell me to be more judgmental before high school starts. P.S. Your hair looks ugly. <sighs> Whatever. I was getting rid of it anyway. Wait, is... Wait, wait, what? What's wrong, Greg? Yeah, Rally, there's someone obviously hiding behind that tree. Should we investigate? Nah, let's continue our conversation. It's probably friendly or something. Phew! Wow, this is so awesome! I should... I should say hi to them! <gasps> wait... What if... What if they don't even want to speak to me anymore? I mean, it makes sense. I left town without even telling them because I was too much of a coward to do so. They probably think that they didn't want to say goodbye to them at all. And, and they seem pretty happy you found me already, so I shouldn't ruin that. But, but wait! I'll be alone just like in the other school in 8th grade. I, I don't want that. You know what? Screw it. I have to say something to them. Oh, wait, they're, they're gone. Oh, God, I'm such a screw-up. Why can't I do anything right? OMG, is that Holly Elizabeth Hills? Uh, hey, Bailey. Where were you? We haven't seen you all year. Yeah, well, my dad had a job opportunity in a different city, so we moved away last summer for eighth grade. But we just moved back, so I'll be here for high school. Aw, that's so nice! Hey, wait, I have an idea! You should totally hang out with us! Hey, wait, Bailey, are you serious? All this girl ever did in 7th grade is hang out with some stuck-up Patty and some middle-class smucks. It's fine, Bryce. We can just shape her into not being a loser for high school. Besides, 
We need more people in our group so we can get more protection for high school. Remember, we're still freshmen. <sighs> All right, but you better be right about this. So, what do you say about our offer, Holly? I... I don't know if I should hang out with them. They aren't really my friends, but then again, they are really popular. Wait, if I hang out with them, I... I can be popular again, like in seventh grade! Yeah, sure, we should hang out! Alright, awesome! Okay guys, let's go to the mall. Wow, oh, I'm finally popular now. I... Uh, I can always talk to Greg and Rally some other day during summer. <laughs> Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will, I promise. <laughs>